Welcome to exercise 6.15, RLC series resonance and the solution. Exercise 6.15, determine the resistor and the capacitor values for a series resonant circuit that has an induction of 10 microhenry, a resonance frequency of 1 MHz, and a quality factor series of 50. Find the bandwidth and approximate the half power frequencies of the circuit. Also, please read example 6.5 before solving. After this slide, the solution will be shown. Stop or pause the video. Try to solve the exercise yourself first before you see the solution. Before we continue actually solving it, we have to validate the circuit. We start as always looking at a frequency from the source as a DC level meaning zero frequency. Then we can see that the capacitor will act as an open circuit. The current can't pass through here, so there cannot flow a current in the resistor. So it's actually a zero current, and a zero current times the resistor will give a zero voltage out. Then we go to the next step, and that's the resonance frequency of the circuit. At that point, they will have the same impedance, the inductor and the capacitor. Uh, the reactance is cancelled out, so the um, circuit is purely ohmic. We only have the resistor that has no parasitic elements. So the only thing that limits the current is the resistor because the inductor acts as a short and the capacitor also. Then we go for the next frequency and that's infinite frequency. How does the circuit then behave? At infinite frequency, we know that the capacitor will act as a short circuit and the inductor will act as an open circuit. And then, since this will act as an open circuit, we will not have a current flow around here. So we will have zero current. Zero current times the resistor will still give a zero voltage out. So most likely we will have zero, then to a maximum, and then down to a minimum again. So this is a series resonance circuit. Let's continue to solving the circuit based on these requirements. We have the resonance equation. We have the um, quality factors for the series resonance here both. We also know what omega zero is the specific frequency for the circuit. So two over the time period or two times P times F. We also can find the bandwidth by help of knowing the resonance frequency and knowing the quality factor of the resonance circuits. And we know when Q is bigger, the quality factor is bigger than 10, we can use the approximated uh, frequencies here for the lower part of the frequency, half the half power frequency of the circuit, the lower part FL, and for the higher part FH. So, 
solving our resonance frequency equation for the capacitor value because we have the inductor value and we have the resonance frequency we can find the capacitor value omega zero second is actually when we know here omega zero is two times p times f here we have it second then we put in the values we know the frequency is one megahertz we have the inductor value 10 micro henry and then we calculate that the capacitor is 2.533 nanofarad so the cap capacitor is known then we can calculate the resistor we know that uh, based on um, either this one or this one we can calculate the resistor because we know this um, the quality factor is 50 we have all these values then we can solve for r so we're done here and putting in the values we get 1.257 ohms Then we can find the bandwidth B. Based on this equation, we have the resonance frequency and we have the quality factor. So putting in the resonance frequency is 1 megahertz and the quality factor is 50, we get 20 kilohertz out. Knowing that the quality factor is over 10, so we can use the approximated. Um, frequency for the half power frequencies we get here fl approximate to the resonance frequency that was one megahertz minus the bandwidth we calculate the bandwidth to be 20 uh, kilo hertz divided by 10 uh, sorry 2 that is actually 10 kilohertz so 1 megahertz minus 10 kilohertz give 990 9 990 kilohertz and the um, approximated half frequency half power frequency the higher frequency of it h can then similarly be calculated to be 1 megahertz plus the 10 kilohertz so we are up in 1 megahertz plus the 10 kilohertz so this is the solution for it but we have to test again we build it in lt spice set it up and do a simulation with these parts here a sweep and then we can see in our border plot here there is something with a peak and then go low again and this is the the bandpass filter. Uh, at the center, at the peak, we actually have the resonance frequency. And we can see that it is between 0.9 megahertz and 1.2 megahertz. And here we add the resonance frequency, we will have zero degrees of phase shift. So that fits well here. But for lower frequency, and for the higher frequency, we can see them here. The, um, the resonance free, uh, the, the low, the half power frequencies are actually at the minus 3 dB. So we have one at 936 kilohertz and we have one at 1.79 kilohertz. That is as good as I could place the cursors. If we really tried, we would uh, get it even better. Yeah, end of video 9. Thank you for watching.